here's Blair. So this is before uh, any feedback. A pretty good extension, so you're you're reaching forward well. That uh, left arm is reaching a little low in the water. You get a better angle on that when we have the underwater view. You look comfortable breathing. Hips are a little low, not awful, but uh, the hips and legs are just a little low in the water. As you get faster, your hips and legs will plane up more. And then with the uh, finish of the stroke, you're finishing early, so you're missing out on a little bit of the push that you could could get. But good things, it's comfortable breathing, rotation's pretty good, and pretty good extension. Your, your kick, it, it looks like sometimes it's timed with the stroke and sometimes it's just sort of sort of there. That's something that will get better with just continued practice. You want to have a, a, a sort of balance to the kick where when your left arm is going forward, your right leg kicks down. When your right arm is going forward, your left leg kicks down. That would be just a 2B kick. If you had a 4B kick, it would be like a right left, right left, something like that. Um, as opposed to a sort of staccato, you know, kick, 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 no kick, 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 no kick. So you can play around with that as you as you continue practicing. The uh, the pull, the, the direction that you're putting your hands as you reach forward is good. So you're reaching uh, right in front of your shoulders on both sides. It's really good. And then the pull line that you're pulling back is more or less straight back, except when you turn to breathe on that right side and your left arm pulls under. So that's also uh, good things going on. So here, you can see good extension, you know, like a good reach forward. Uh, the left arm reaching a little low, the right arm also sometimes reaching a little low. So like we discussed, you want to reach directly forward so that when you do a, a better catch or high elbow, high, as you improve your high elbow catch, you'll grab more and more water. Now you can see that your, your hips and legs are a little low. There's two ways to address that. One, which is my preferred way, is to train more and get faster and then your hips and legs will plane up behind you. Uh, the second way is to try and look straight down. If you look straight down it will help raise your, your hips up slightly so you're looking almost straight down here but not quite straight down if you can see the difference. But my my recommendation there was like we, we discussed was to use a pull buoy in training, not worry about your kick right now. Uh, the race you have coming up is in a wetsuit, so it's a, it's more or less a non-issue. And as you train over the winter, just use the pull buoy so your upper body gets stronger and stronger. And then one day you'll discover that you're, you're not having any issue at all with that. <laughs> now I talked the whole time there about your your hips. Uh, your your pulls, which we discussed, were more or less a straight arm pull with a little bit of elbow slip. So that straight arm pull style is more or less the second best way to swim. Uh, what you want to mi migrate towards is that high elbow catch. So here what we, we talked about was trying to extend a little better and reaching directly forward as opposed to reaching down. And this looks, this looks good, this looks a little smoother. It looks a little more streamlined. You're also pushing all the way through. There's a slight hesitation sometimes when you're finishing that stroke, with both arms. Uh, once you finish this stroke, you, you don't want to hesitate at all. You want to just get that arm right around to the front again. If you pause at all, you should pause the arm in front, but not the arm behind. So now we're doing this long reach and pushing all the way through the stroke. So this looks even a step better now.
long reach, good finish with using the pull buoy so you don't have to worry about it. So the reason you use the pull buoy is because it really just allows you to focus on your technique and form. So don't uh, buy into anybody that says it's a crutch or anything like that. I think it's a great training tool. And you can see how it, it's helping you just a little bit, keeping your, hep, uh, your hips up slightly, which is letting you focus entirely on what your arms are doing. So yeah, this, this longer reach and reaching forward or reaching a little higher has smoothed out your stroke quite a bit. And the finish of the stroke, that's going to get stronger over time. Uh, you know, the most, the world's best swimmers have to remind themselves to do the complete stroke. So it's a matter of just staying focused on it when you're swimming. Got a little bit of one-arm drill here to work on the catch. reach and then roll that shoulder and catch. So with the one arm drill just remember that the motion initiates in your shoulder so anytime you're really trying to work on the high elbow catch it's that shoulder shrug and roll and then that will help the uh, elbow sort of rotate outward and help your hand and forearm That's angle right. down. Good. So here you can see some of them you're getting a uh, better catch than others. That was good uh, like right that one you just had was better. So anytime you see the hand and forearm sort of angle down and that while the upper arm is still ahead of the body, it means you're getting a better high elbow catch. So you want to reach, roll the shoulder, and catch. Reach as far as you can, roll the shoulder, and then catch. So now we're reaching, trying to focus on the catch. That's good. I think you're swimming faster through here already. So good reach. And then if you improve the catch, even just by matter, you know, a few percent technique improvement, then the power that you get out of that is improved. And if you're more streamlined, which you are, you swim a little faster. So make sure, as you, as you get more fatigued, you do uh, stop pushing through the stroke. So keep that in mind as well. I would alternate 50s where you think reaching as well as I can, catching as well as I can, finishing as well as I can. And then, uh, that... So here's some still frames of you swimming along. You can see a pretty good extension forward and then uh, rotation and glide. And then as you start the pull, it's that upper arm and forearm are just one line. So that's straight arm pull. And then uh, what you're, what you're missing out on there is that the first part is just pushing water down a bit. So it's not really until you're a third of the way in the stroke that you're getting mostly of a forward pull or arms pulling water back towards your body. And with the left arm, a little low on this particular uh, frame. So you extend well again. So good reach forward and then start the pull, which is uh, motion just pushing some water down at the beginning. And again, same sort of thing, not really pulling back until about a third of the way into the stroke. So if you can improve that front third of the stroke, uh, you're going to have a lot of improvement. The same goes for the finish. Just get a little push at the finish.